guys, welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna. If you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four who focuses on secular curriculum choices. And we come here and we share what we are learning along the way um, to hopefully help you find answers to some of your questions. We are in our sixth year of homeschooling and this year we have a first and fifth grader. Guys, today I just wanna give you kind of a little bit of a side-by-side -side comparison of Generation Genius to Mystery Science. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find us right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So, why am I talking about Generation Genius and Mystery Science? Because they are very similar programs. They are both video based science programs, complete curriculums um, that you essentially purchase a membership to that gives you access to the video lessons and the resources that are available online um, to do your complete science curriculum. It's pretty awesome. Both of them are really great. We have used both. We did use Generation Genius last year and this year we decided to go with Mystery Science. Now, I don't have really anything bad to say about either program. So this is really just kind of a comparison. There's gonna be pros and cons to both. So both programs are designed, I think, primarily with a public school approach in mind to be a resource for public schools. I believe they both adhere to the, I think it's NTSA or NST, I don't remember. I'll put the right one right here. I'm blanking on this right now, um, which is the, the scientific standards, national scientific standards for teachers association, whatever. Um, so they both adhere to that. Now, okay, so Generation Genius, I feel like does focus more heavily on being a resource for schools as opposed to homeschoolers. They do offer a homeschool plan, uh, which gets you limited to like one device, residential Wi-Fi only. Um, you're not, you don't have access, I don't think, to all of the things that are available. And it is about, I think the cost for just the science is $95 for a year. They do do a prorated plan about this time of year to get you through September. So if you wanted to give it a try out, this would be a great time to do that. Um, Mystery Science is, I think it's $109. I'm gonna give you like a screenshot to show you the two things. Um, Mystery Science is $109 for a year. So if you bought now, you would actually have access through June of 2024. So that is also like a great way to try both. I think both of them do offer free trials. Something that Generation Genius has started offering since we used it is you can buy the home base kit basically to get you to do the uh, you, with the kits, it's easier to do the um, science experiments because that's kind of, you know, kind of a big pain, which we all understand. So both programs are pretty great. Both are like online videos. The Generation Genius ones, Genius ones do have a little bit more of like the razzle dazzle flair uh, to them. So that is, you know, if your kids favor that. Mystery Science, however, it's more, I feel like, in depth as far as the way the videos go, the, the video lessons are a little bit different. So um, in Mystery Science, there's like a video lesson and I'll show you this in just a second. And then there's like more drop down things. Um, whereas Mystery Science, you kind of go like go through the video and it stops at certain points to have you either use the supplemental materials or to ask you a question before going on. So it's more interact that lesson aspect of it is more interactive so we do like that very much uh one of the drawbacks that i had with generation genius is it, it it has a shot like you can only use it so far so as my kids would go through it and you get entertained by it it, it is designed to be a curriculum for public school they have because i reached out to them guys i did i emailed and i was like are you guys going to add any more like before we were deciding to use it for another year will you be adding any more things is that something i should look out for and they said that at this point they had covered all of those standards that need to be covered to meet the curriculum requirements for the uh teachers association so they were they had checked the box they were good they had no intent to add more of that so that to me 
was just one of those things like, okay, it's great, but it's just not as usable for the long term. Uh, whereas, you know, once my, at least my kids, when they get started on things, they want to do like another video, which happens to us every single week with Mystery Science. We watch our, you know, one required video and then they're like, but can we do more? Can we do more? And they have something that I absolutely love, which is perfect for this. They have like the lessons, like the big lessons, but they have like mini lessons. So it's like five minutes and they're themed around holidays and things like that. So it's like, you know, like it's been Valentine's Day recently. So like the little mini lesson is how can you fix a broken heart? And it goes into like heart transplants and things like that. So it's, I think that's really fun. It's more of like a, it's easier to go down that rabbit hole. I feel like with mystery science and for that reason, I, I like it a lot. Um, I, I, I really do. It is geared definitely more. I feel like there's more, um, benefits to using it as a homeschooler as opposed to Generation Genius, but both programs are great if you're unsure about what to do. Um, I hope this side by side helps you. Now, totally different, we're moving into middle school science and that means that my oldest is kind of aged out of mystery science. We'll still keep it for my younger one, that's the plan. But now we're looking into other things. And so what I have found that I think I like, but I know a lot of you out there will have experience with this. So if you can tell me, let me know. I'm looking at the science mom, the biology course. Will you guys, biology, I think it's biology one for middle school science. So please, you guys let me know what you think, what you love. Cause now I'm starting to look, like look and plan for like middle school and high school. I'm like, boop, my brain, I can't believe it, but it's here, it's time. So if you've used something that you absolutely love for middle school and high school science, please reach out. Let me know what it is. Um, write on down in the comments, please guys. Okay. So let's pop over and do our side by side of the two websites. So I can just kind of like give you, I feel like they're so similar, but there's some differences. So let's check it out. I here you can see Generation Genius. As you can see, it's trusted by tons of teachers. Everybody loves it. It's super high production value. Um, you can also see that it is really geared toward the public school system, which is not a problem. It just means that not everything always articulates as well to the homeschool environment. And don't get me wrong, Mystery Science is also geared toward the public school environment as well. Um, here are the kits and there's that uh, NSTA that I could not for the life of me remember. Um, but as you can see right across the top, they've got science, they do have math videos now, which is pretty cool. So it's broken up K through two, three through five, six through eight. And again, like I said, I did confirm with them, they are only doing what is required from the standards that were set forth from the NSTA. So they, as far as they told me straight from them, they said they have no plans at this point to add any more. So that may be why they branched out into kits and that may be why they branched out into math. But if you are hoping kind of for the long game, it may not sustain you throughout. And that was even like we did one lesson a week and it still was starting to come up short and that was dividing between the two. So we would do like the K through two version of a lesson and then do the three through five version of a lesson so that I was kind of alternating between my two girls who did it together. And it's still, you know, it's going to just not be enough. I don't feel like there's enough videos to, to sustain eight years of, you know, science lessons. There's just not. I understand that, you know, they've checked the box and whatever, but as far as a long-term solution, I just don't think that this is it. Um, here are their subscription boxes. You can see all of that. I don't feel like they're necessarily any different than other boxes you could get other than maybe just it does have that high uh, video production that goes with it. Now here's the pricing. As you can see, there's the science and math, which we did try out the math for a little while. And here is that they do prorate it toward the end of the year. So if you wanted to try it out, now's a great time because you can get such a heavy, heavy discount on that. Um, again, I don't really have anything bad to say about it other than just longevity. It just isn't gonna have that for you. Now, Mystery Science, their website, as you can see, it's still great, still wonderful. Just a little bit of the less like flashy flashiness of Dr. Jeff and Generation Genius. So I like that they have lessons. They have so many lessons. And then they have the mini lessons, which is just like answering one little question, which I like. You can sort by topic. You can sort by grade. You can sort by um, subject. You can sort by all different kinds of things. I think it's really fun. It has lessons with printables and 
uh, all of these things that you can do. It's really easy to figure out how many to print. I did like like the print activity interface is really nice to scale quite easily to homeschool as opposed to a classroom of 30 copies. Um, I like that it's so easy to figure out how to use and Generation Genius is as well, you know, click and done. So that's really nice. Uh, the supply list, everything is really easy to find. So I don't have any complaints there. I just felt like this was more uh, more meaty, more science curriculum -y. It would go further for us and, and has gone further for us and we can continue using it. And it's so easy for my kids to just keep going. So they watch one and then they want to watch another and then they want to watch another and then they want to watch another. And yes, it's, you know, they're watching something, but they're also really engaging with it and they're enjoying it and they're sharing what they've learned along the way. And they're excited to tell us about it. It's really fun. It's engaging. I do quite enjoy it. So really you can't go wrong with either program. My personal preference is going to be mystery science. I just feel like there's a bit more value for the buck. And then, you know, you can just use it a bit longer. Now, whether or not, like whichever one you choose, again, you can't make a wrong decision. It's whatever suits you. And Generation Genius was exactly the perfect right answer for us at one time. And this one is another perfect right answer. And neither one of them is wrong. So I hope truly that you're getting like a good feel for this just from this side by side. Both of them have trials. Both of them have things you can click on and do. So don't hesitate to go and drive around their websites. Do one, do the other to help you get kind of a good idea of what's happening. Uh, Mystery Science for the year is a little bit more, but to me, 15 bucks I mean, six of one, half dozen of the other uh, isn't a huge deal, but you know, that may make a huge difference for some people. So if that is, is something that's big for you, um, Generation Genius is technically cheaper for a year. So there's that, but Mystery Science has a lot more lessons. So there's that. So uh, yeah, it just really comes down to what your preference is. Go give them a test drive. Don't hesitate to reach out to them with any questions. Again, I've gotten all of my questions answered every time I've asked. And I did specifically ask Generation Genius about adding more lessons and they told me no. So if you feel like there's plenty there for you, that's wonderful, then, you know, do it. Go, you can go deeper. You can stretch one lesson into three weeks. You can definitely stretch it out as much as you want to. But like I said, my kids want to click on one and then they want to watch another one and then they want to watch another one and then they want to watch another one. So I need something that's going to have uh, enough to sustain their curiosity, to be quite honest. It's got to be able to keep up with their incessant desire to click and to learn more. And I found like Mystery Science really checked that bill, whereas Generation Genius didn't. So Guys, hope it was helpful. Uh, hope that you found this um, at least somewhat somewhat informative as far as that side by side. I've gotten so many questions about Mystery Science versus Generation Genius, and I have promised this video for a long time. And you know, people, why did you leave? It's like it's not even necessarily that we were leaving Generation Genius. We were just going to Mystery Science. It's not that there was anything wrong with Generation Genius. It's just that Mystery Science at this time was a better fit. It doesn't have to be wrong or broken in order to find a better fit. You guys know I've said that a lot of times about changing curriculum. It doesn't have to be wrong, but that doesn't mean there's not something better. And this for us was definitely better this year. So I'm glad we made the change. My kids really like it, but now I'm really hoping that I can find something that's in a similar vein for middle school science for my big girl, because inevitably they'll still wind up both doing all of it together anyway. So hoping that I can find something that really checks the bill for them as far as their learning style and the things they want to do. Guys, I hope that you found any of that helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram um, at Making Everyday Magic. Don't forget to let me know what are those middle school and science resources that you absolutely love because, well, it's the end of February, which means it is time to plan.